Hey guys, you've got Ben here from Overland Trail Guides, and today I'm going to show you how to build your very own higher inflation and deflation system, just like this one that we built in this video. So we're going to be building a four-way tire inflation and deflation system, all from parts that you can get at Amazon or your local hardware store. The best part about it is you're going to build this kit for a fraction of the cost of what you would pay for one of these ready-made kits that you'll find online. To put that in perspective, I've got a long wheelbase Ram 3500, so my kit costs a little bit more because it requires more air hose. If I were to buy a four-way tire inflation system kit from the, one of the leading brands online, it's going to cost about 250 bucks. But guess what? I built this one right here for just over 100 bucks. And it really doesn't take any special tools, any special skills, not a whole lot of time. We'll walk you through all the steps, but it's really easy to do. So what you're going to find in this DIY guide to building your very own tire inflation system is one, we're going to take a look at the tools, the parts, and the cost that you'll need to build this system. Then we'll actually get into a step-by-step -step approach to cutting all the hose, putting it all together, and assembling the system. Then lastly, you're going to want to see it in action, right? So we got to test this bad boy out. We'll, uh, we'll use it as a deflation system first, and then we'll fill the tires back up and show it to you in action. But why don't we get into those parts and the cost of building the system now. Here's a quick look at all of the parts and tools that we'll need to build our inflation system. Let's start with the tools first. You'll need some sort of pliers to tighten your cinch clamps. I'm using the set of shark bite pliers that I already have. And then you'll need something to cut your air hose. A sharp knife or X-Acto blade works fine, but I'm using a PEX cutter for my toolbox. 50 feet of quarter inch air hose, four quarter inch threaded brass barbs, two quarter inch three-way brass barbs, also known as T-connectors, 10 cinch clamps, one four-way brass connector with quarter inch thread inserts, one shutoff valve with quarter inch male and female threaded inserts, one quarter inch Milton style plug, one air pressure gauge with quarter inch threads, four locking air chucks with quarter inch female threads, and the last thing we recommend for this project is some good old pipe tape when threading the various pieces together. Okay, so now we know all of the parts that we need to build our system, we're going to start out with the easiest step first, and that revolves around our air pressure gauge. And I'll walk you through this in close up so you can see it. We're going to take our air pressure gauge, that's going to thread into our four way brass fitting. We have our on off valve that will go below it. And then we have an M-style plug that goes at the bottom of the on-off valve. And of course, of course, we're going to use good old pipe thread tape as well. So let me show you those steps really quick. All right, so I've already added the pipe thread tape to the air gauge. And then we're simply just going to screw this in. And if you need to, you can um, use tools, obviously. This is just going to be by hand here. So that definitely looks good. We're going to move on to our next piece and we can already see there's some sort of resin composite on here. We're just going to screw this in. Okay, so I did use these two wrenches to help me get this nice and tight in there, but everything looks good. We're going to move on to our next piece, which is the in plug. I'll thread it up and then we'll thread it in. Okay, so now we can see that we've added the pipe thread. Let's just get it in there and we'll probably have to finish it off with these bad boys again. All right, so now we have our air pressure system ready to go. We're going to start working on the hoses. We can see our on off valve right here. This works as well, but let's start cutting the hoses. All right, guys, we're ready to move on to cutting the hose here. We're using Flexzilla quarter inch air hose. And the one thing that I do want to call out is that you definitely want to measure twice, cut once, this stuff isn't the most expensive in the world, but you certainly don't want to waste hose because if you're ordering 50 feet like I am, you get really close to the amount of hose that you have to work with. So even if you waste like six inches or a foot, you might be SOL, right? So just something to think about. And so what we're going to actually do is we're going to start with the two pieces that run from the four-way connector. I'll explain that in a second once we get it started while we're doing that. And then we'll move in to the other cuts that we need to do as well. So essentially there's going to be two six inch hoses that go to the front tires that are going to be using a T-slot. And then there's going to be another set of hose that runs to the rear tires 
um, that can plug into them. And then the other thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna run a three foot hose off of this, which will go to the front tires as well. I'll lay it all out so it makes sense to you, but let's get into that hose cutting. For our first set of cuts, we're actually going to do the unit that runs out of the four way brass fitting right below the air gauge. And that's because we're gonna leave these sections on each end, right? And so I'm cutting six feet. This is gonna run to the, uh, the T-valve that will feed the front tires. And then from the T-valve, we'll run another 16 feet of hose to the rear tires. But you wanna make sure that you get ahead of this. It's an important part. Otherwise, if you don't plan this appropriately, you'll have to buy some, uh, some extra brass fittings to run to the hose, but these are already in here, so why not use them? And it kind of makes it look a little bit cooler. So we're gonna cut two six feet pieces. Mark six feet, cut. All right, let's move on to the next step. Okay, so we've laid out the air hose. I'm gonna mark 16 feet here. And then I have some pipe cutter that I used for a previous project. You can use something like an X-Acto blade or a pocket knife if you have a sharp enough blade, but it's pretty easy to do. So we're just gonna take this, line it up. Easy peasy. Okay, we've cut the 16 inch hoses. Now we are making the hoses that are three feet long. These are gonna run to the front tires. We'll make two quick cuts. There's one. All right, all of our hoses are cut. What we're gonna move on to next is actually putting in the various brass fittings into our system. And those will be secured by these cinch clamps. These are actually from Shark Bite. They work with, um, with PEX tubing that I use to install my water system in my truck. But there's a bunch of cinch clamps out there that you can use. You need a set of pliers usually to tighten them and make them tight. One thing that I do wanna call out is that when you are putting these into your air hose, you wanna make sure that you put that cinch, that cinch clamp on first and then the barbin, but let's get into it now. So we've already put our pipe thread tape on there and then we are just going to screw this in to our four-way fitting here. All right, as you can see, we have the first set of hoses on. Now what we need to do is these need to get the T-style fittings in here because they are gonna feed the front tires out of here and then the rear tires will be connected with our longest hose. So I'm gonna get this guy in here. Sometimes it's easier if you kind of twist it, but remember what I said, put that PEX clamp in first. I almost made a mistake there. It's gonna go in there. So now we have our T-barb in there and we put in our cinch clamp. Okay. There it goes. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. There it goes. Now we're ready to move on to the hoses that are gonna feed the front tires. Same process as before, it doesn't really matter which one we start with. Gonna put our clamp in there first. Got hoses going everywhere. There we go. Okay, so we've put both of our hoses on. Now what we need to do, put one of these into each end. Don't forget that cinch clamp because that would be a pain in the butt. We'll twist this in and then we will close the clamp. We got this one. Let's just get this one. Those. So we have both of those on there. Now what we're gonna do is, this is pretty easy, we're gonna take our quick release air chucks. We have four of them, one for each tire, and they essentially just thread in here. You can see that I already have the, uh, the thread tape in there. So we'll just throw that on. And again, we're gonna finish this off with a, uh, with a wrench just to make sure that it's extra tight, but we'll get them started by hand here. Okay, so we have our front two air chucks all ready to go. Now what we need to do is we need to add the extra long line that is gonna to run to the rear tires. And then of course, uh, we'll use our cinch clamps once again. So let's do it. Okay, so right here, this is the long hose that's gonna to run to the rear tires. We have our T fitting here. We're just gonna slide this in like we did before. We'll use the good old cinch clamp on it once again. 
Easy peasy. We'll do it on the other side as well. There you have it. All right, so this is the last step in our process before we hook everything up. We're just gonna do the same thing that we did with the front tires. We're gonna take our cinch clamp, put it on, put this bad boy in. These are a little bit harder to work in. And then we'll, um, we'll clamp them up and then we'll put the, air, the locking air chuck on them as well. All right, so now we're going to put on our air chucks. Don't forget to put on the thread tape and then we'll be done. Okay, so we'll thread this bad boy on just like we did before. All right, we got our two air chucks on. We are ready to rock and test the system now. All right guys, one thing that I did wanna show you about is this three foot hose right here that I built. Same process, it has the brass barbs in here, has some air chucks that are made to fit with these, um, these M plugs over here. And essentially this allows me to plug in there and then my air compressor also has an M plug so I'll do the same thing on the other end to hook it up. Let's go test it out. Hey guys, so we're gonna start by deflating the four tires on my truck. And the first thing that you wanna do is make sure your shutoff valve is off because if you attach one of these and it's on, guess what, it's gonna start leaking air. So super easy to attach these. All we do is slide down the metal sleeve, put it on our valve stem, and then we're gonna slide that sleeve up and we'll repeat the process for all four tires here. All right, we've got all four of our tires connected now. All we need to do is turn on the air gauge, which it already is, and then we're just gonna open the shutoff valve and let the air out for a couple minutes and we should be good to go. All right, guys, we were at 55 PSI. We just aired down to 25 PSI in about two and a half minutes. Pretty awesome. You can see that the hood is popped. I've got the compressor over here. I have that little adapter air hose that I was talking about. So we're gonna air everything up. We'll attach this to our Milton plug here. And then we'll attach this to our compressor and we'll go back up to 55 PSI just to show you it all works great. Well guys, that's a wrap. We deflated the system, we inflated it. You can build this system in about an hour. I'm gonna go hit the trail here, getting ready to head up uh, to the North Coast and the Lost Coast for one of our events here. But we will catch you out on the trail. Godspeed and we'll catch you next time.